Hello everybody, um, I'm Just Lance and I'd like to welcome you all back for another video. Anyhow, um, I hope you all had a wonderful new year. Uh, no new subscribers to speak of. However, in this video I might be reminiscing about um, my girlfriend's father, James Conrad. Um, Friday. He uh, passed away at the ripe old age of 83, 84, 85, I can't remember exactly when. He was born in 1927, so, you know, um, he has lived a very long and at times, or in for a good chunk for the past, number of years of very happy life. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to kind of be reminiscing about him tonight, or this today. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we're doing. Um, the Razor is my 1959 second quarter Gillette 195 adjustable, or what we've come to affectionately call the E2 Fat Boy. The brush is my Razor Rock Plus Soft in the barber handle. Nice solid acrylic handle. 24 millimeter Plus Soft knot. Absolutely love that brush. One of my favorite synthetics. Um, the soap will be um, Sterling's Piacenza. I want something bright, citrusy, and Piacenza kind of fills fills that that um, desire. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's get the face wet. Oh, by the way, the blade in that razor is a um, Gillette Silver Blue. Anyway, so let's wet the face and do the shave. Get the brush wet. And let's get loading. We're going to do a face lather today. Yeah, I was on Facebook the other day. I'm kind of looking here and there a little bit on Facebook again. Um, Just from time to time. And I saw a post, I can't remember which shaving group it's in, but Declaration Grooming is going to be filling five orders for custom brushes. And the question was asked, is this a joke? I haven't had a chance to check their website. Might be. But the person said, nope, dead serious. Anyways, I guess declaration is only going to make five brushes and they're going to go for a thousand bucks a piece. Now, In this hobby, spend what you want to spend. <clears throat> you want to spend four hundred on a razor, five hundred on a razor. <clears throat> That's you. Do you? You know, having that kind of gear that expensive makes you happy. Um, do whatever it is you wish. But me myself. If I had that kind of money, yeah, that would have to be one spectacularly incredible, beautiful brush. Go 
because I mean somebody made the made a point. They said a thousand dollars for a five dollar block of acrylic for turning. Forty bucks for a you know, good quality made in China uh, high mountain light badge or not. So, um, yeah. But you want to spend that kind of cash? <clears throat> go for it. <laughs> Just me. Oof, I don't know. Some guy he said his wallet had a stroke when he saw the price. So, but hey, if declaration can get it, hey, it's free country. <clears throat> it's free country, do what you want when it comes to your hobbies. As long as you ain't hurting anybody or breaking any major laws. Ooh. Um, by the way, the razor is on nine. First pass with the green. But anyways, so my father-in-law, even though his daughter and I weren't married, he considered me his son-in-law. And um, He was as close as you can get to a father-in-law without being married when it came to his treatment of me, generosity, and uh, truly his love he had for me as far as person, especially the person that was with his daughter. We didn't agree on everything. Um, he was an evangelical Christian. I am not. He was a Republican. I am not. Did we have moments where we disagreed heavily? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When it came to religion and politics. Um, but him and I both respected one another One moment. So, yeah. Um, him and my girlfriend were very close. always did everything, you know, he stayed in very close touch with her. Um, always encouraged her to be a better person. Always, he had a saying that He tried very hard to live by, and that phrase was, be happy on purpose.
So. It's a phrase that, well, a lot of people could live by and it'd do them a lot of good. So, I had to unfortunately break the news to my son that his grandfather was ill. And my son's four, be five this month at the end of the month. And my son, he took it well, and, you know, when my girlfriend, she was the one that broke it to him that he had passed, so. But, he's a trooper, and going across the grain, so I go against the grain, you know, on the neck. If you never watched one of my videos, you might notice I'm going up from the bottom to the top in the middle, but at an angle here on the side of my neck. That's because my hair grows in a straight down this way, and then it grows at an angle down this way. So against the grain is up at an angle on both sides and up in the middle. Um, not quite growing the Fu Manchu back yet. I will. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, my father-in-law, he was uh, serving the U.S. Navy back in the 50s for 10 years. Um, served during the Korean conflict. While the Korean conflict went on while well, he was serving. Um, so, and so he was a. Uh, Proud veteran. So, <laughs> he served on a, oh, I can't remember what it's called, an LT ship. I forget what class that is. One moment. logistics transport or something like that. I think it was an LT. Um, basically it was, you know, it had a very shallow draft, if I remember correctly. He said it had a very shallow draft and you can kind of get into the shallows and um, for the beach and get by the beach and open the front doors and drop a ramp and tanks and troops would come streaming out of the front. Um, so. He got a little bit of trouble from time to time in the Navy. Um, but, you know, he just, you know, he served his 10 years and got out and became a United States postal worker. Rang the bell for Salvation Army every Christmas time.
donate it to his, you know, tithe it as ten percent to his church every single month. So and he helped us while he was here, helped us get a beautiful, lovely van. He uh sit down Alex. So okay, that's great. Still on setting nine. So we haven't done the service yet. He's going to be cremated and then you know, that Neptune Society where they take you out and scatter your ashes at sea. That's what he wants, so we're gonna do that for him. He's taken, kind of took the reins there at the end, and took care of quite a few final arrangements, but not all of them, so. So, you know. May's pastor's wife, who he was good friends with, both the pastor and the pastor's wife at his church, and uh, she knew what he wanted, he let her know, and made her the executor of everything. And, Oops, nicked myself. That's not the razor or the blade's fault, that's mine. But she's doing what's right by the man, which we appreciate very much. So, he will be missed by friends, family. said we butt a hedge from time to time but I did truly love the man so that's what we've been dealing with for the past several days anyways um, if you're still with me I appreciate it I hope I didn't drag anybody down too bad it's just kind of I want to remember them in my own way so I decided to do it this way anyways I'm going to go ahead and rinse off and I will be back for the post after I shave my head see you in a minute that folks was an absolutely amazing shave um, got a little bit of stubble on the head no problem um, the fat boy always does great great job uh, there's a lot of people out there that prefers the Slim Adjustable over the Fat Boy um, because of the narrow head profile. I have no problem with the Fat Boy and just something about the Fat Boy I prefer over the Slim Adjustable. I'm not saying I don't like the Slim Adjustable. I got one. But uh, if I'm going to go ahead and, you know, if I had to choose one of the two as a daily driver, if those were my only two to pick from, it would definitely be the fat boy. Anyways, um, but yeah, face is great. Um, the brush, um, wonderful, wonderful brush. Plus soft, um, synthetic, barber handle, razor rock. Um, great brush. If you haven't got one and you're into synthetics, go ahead and get one. You won't be sorry. Um, the Gillette Silver Blue, absolutely great blade. One of my favorites. Um, the Piacenza by Sterling. Absolutely love that soap, and um, just I just I just needed something bright today. I just needed something bright as far as my soap went. Um, 
great soap, wonderful post shave feel, plenty of slickness, glide, residual slickness, cushion, everything you need, everything you need, and one and so. So let's go ahead and let's do the post, shall we? Dickinson Witch Hazel, of course. great for your face great face feel absolutely love the stuff um, it's been chilly for the past couple of days so today's not bad so we're going to go with a tiny bit of Nivea Post Shape Balm Sad thing about the fat boy is it's such a sought after razor when it comes to vintages. Um, and the people, some people, they just charge crazy, crazy ass prices for them. Um, I paid 40 for mine, but that was because um, it's not in mint condition, but person I got it from had sent it into um, Razor Emporium, got a tune up on it um, after he got it because he said, you know, he wanted to make sure that the blade alignment and gap was even on both sides. That way he wasn't getting surprises. And the aftershave is Florida water. A little bit spicy. Mm, got some burn. Anyways, y'all take it easy. Um, have a great day. Um, Jim, my friend, rest easy. Um, I'll see y'all on the flip side of the plate. Bye-bye now.